The National Film Board of Canada presents Animated Motion by Norman McLaren and Grant Monroe. Part three of a series of films in which McLaren comments on, demonstrates, and classifies aspects of motion which the animator employs in his everyday work. The fourth category of movement is zero motion, or no motion at all. Animators call it a hold, and for them, zero motion is most important. You may ask, how can no motion be important? In animation, it is as vital as a rest in music or a zero in arithmetic. In itself, it is nothing, but in a context of what comes before and after, it does become important. In a sequence of single frame movement, the shortest possible hold occurs when there is no change between two adjacent frames. There. At the start and finish of a movement, holds play another role. Let's go back to our very first example of tempo, the disc going from A to B in one frame. Notice there were holds. Remove the holds. A rather different result. The presence or absence of such holds is more marked with fast motions, less marked with slow with holds. Without holds. Apart from being used as pauses at the start and end of movements, holds may be employed as a regularly recurring part of the motion itself. Normal single frame. There are no holds. Double frame. As one move, and one hold. Triple frame. One move and two holds. Quadruple frame. One move and three holds. Six frame animation, one move and five holds. The result, first at a slow tempo. at twice the tempo. At four times the tempo. Because single and double framing are so widely used, let us make a side-by-side -side comparison. First, at a slow tempo.
double the tempo. Double the tempo again. Jitter increases as tempo increases. Another common use of the hold is accelerating to zero and decelerating from zero. Five frame hold, a 36 frame hold. The hold has an impact. But put this 36 frame hold in another context. Decelerate to the hold and accelerate from the hold. The hold looks longer. It has no impact or life of its own. It merges into the overall movement. Finally, a use of zero motion in what is the most common piece of animation syntax. A hold at start and finish. In the middle, a section of constant motion. Led into by an acceleration. And out of by a deceleration. Animators call the acceleration a taper in. It may be longer. or shorter. The constant must link, as also the deceleration or taper down. Finally, the hold. This formula may have endless variations. The fifth and last basic category of movement is irregular motion. When it is impossible to predict the size of a move from the size of preceding moves, we have irregular motion. A medium-sized move, a tiny move, a huge move, a mid-sized move, a small move, a slightly bigger move, and a zero. A slightly bigger move. Bigger still and a zero. Slightly smaller and three zeros. And a bigger move. The result. Irregular motion has a character all its own, often appearing as erratic, capricious, nervous, or even frightened. These, then, are the basic factors in animation. First, tempo. Then, constant, accelerating, decelerating, zero, and irregular motion. By their skillful use, the animator gives life, meaning, character, and spirit to no matter what subject. Part 3. End.